guys, what's going on? It's Prowlerhead F, and I'm making a uh, my first video uh, tutorial in Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro X, whatever you want to call it, just the newest version of Final Cut Pro. And uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to edit a basic intro and make it look pretty good just by adding some of the standard effects in Final Cut. I, I keep wanting to call it iMovie because that's what I've been using to edit all my intros, like finalize them. But now I'm using Final Cut because I just got it yesterday. And uh, obviously I won't cover everything in here. So if you guys see something that I'm missing or uh, think I need to go back and uh, elaborate and uh, expand on something, I uh, like. I, I, I'll i definitely take requests. I, I love it when you guys request stuff from me. I've gotten some requests, like, in, in motion, and I still haven't made them yet, like, uh, chroma keying and stuff. That will come. Don't worry, I know. Some guy, I promise that, too. And, uh, like I said, today, dozens of tutorials coming out in, uh, in, the, in, the, in Final Cut Pro. And, uh, to, uh, find out when those tutorials will be uploaded, you can... Follow me on Twitter, and I will have updates for those whenever I'm going to upload them. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. I'm going to go in here and add new project, and I'm just going to name the project how to make, I mean how to edit an intro tut, and uh, default event, well, I want to make a new event, whatever. And, uh, now we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go in 2,000, where's the thing? I can't find the thing. It's just on this one. Oh, these are all the events. Okay, so I guess going to file, um, import files, there we go. And I'm gonna create a new event, and I'm just gonna call it test intro vid. I'm just gonna call test intro. And uh now go to wherever you save that intro. And I'm gonna be using the one that I created in my last Cinema 4D tutorial. If you did not see how to create that, then what you guys are gonna do is uh click on the annotation in the top left or top right. Or both, I have no idea. So uh select this. This is the raw footage or whatever you want to call it, and drag it down into here. So now you got nice little footage of the thing. Now what's different about iMovie is when it gets to the end you can't just click spacebar and replay it or whatever so you just gotta keep dragging it back to the end or whatever. And I'm just gonna open up my like zoom in on my timeline a bit so I can see a bit more. It's, that might be a little too much. That's good. So now what we're gonna do the first thing is we're gonna add some music. So uh, I the, the one music that I recommend is um uh, my good friend on YouTube DJ Aggie or uh, DJ A G G G E E E I I don't really know how to say his name but uh, he's a DJ and he makes awesome dubsteps and stuff I'll have his link in the description there'll be an annotation to his channel in one of the top corners and uh you know so I'm going to try and find his songs I'm just going to type uh what's type flame Legit Flames by DJ at G G G E E E E. So uh I like this music. I'm gonna drag it underneath. Oh, it didn't go. Like I said Oh, it's kinda loud. Whoops. That one is very loud. I think I have to change the volume of it, but let me just type in DJ. Okay. Huh? Oh. Ow! My arm! I just banged my arm against my chair. Okay. There- what? Whatever, I'm just gonna drag it in. Oh wait, I didn't- I wanted Psycho Knight. Psycho Knight, it's one of his best songs, I love it. And uh, he makes a lot of great music, like, I think every week. I don't know, he uploads them very often. See that? Amazing. And 
and now uh, I just click B and use the blade tool to cut it at the end and command X to delete it now I'm just going to go back to A which is the pointer tool just lower the volume a bit just cuz I don't want it to be talking over me and uh, so you know basic intro but uh we don't have to be done there I'm just gonna mute this if I can just gonna go down as low as I can. Uh, disable. Okay, yeah. And then we'll bring that back in in a second. So now I'm gonna go to effects. And I'm gonna type in intro. Intro flashes. This is one of my most favorite effects in this. So now what you want, I wanna do is go to the beginning. Select B on your keyboard. And that will select the blade tool. And now what you're gonna wanna do. Let's go over to when the text, almost where the text ends, and cut it. And then take this intro flash effect and put it, oh, put it on the first part. And then you'll see it looks kind of cool. So yeah, see it does a little cool blurry thing, and I really like it. It's one of my favorite. My friend's calling me on Skype. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to type to him now and uh, do something. Blah blah blah. Okay. So uh now that that's done. Um you can see we got this really nice effect there. But uh we still have the same green and uh we can go in down here into looks and uh oh because I have intro selected there's gonna be no looks and uh we can add some kinda cool uh, effect so uh, we can do teal and orange and we can just put it on right there to test what it'll look like and you can see it doesn't really do much so you can just do commands you to get rid of that you can try sci-fi or whatever and I mean that looks pretty nice but I don't really think that's what you're looking for or uh, whatever you want to say you can do heat wave and heat wave it always looks good just I'm not really looking for that either so I'm gonna try and go into combat combat looks really nice but now I think to edit this we can click on it go into combat we can change the amount of it so it can be like absolutely none or it can be like all the way I'm gonna have it around the middle and then the color cast we can give it a lot which is nice protect skin I don't really see it doing anything so uh, I'm just gonna put that all the way up in case it does do something and shadows we're gonna want up. So yeah, and then we can. Uh, I think there's a way to copy the effects. Like I said, I'm still learning this program, so uh, we can actually just leave the color correction there, and then yeah, you see, it's got that nice little cool. It's green. It goes in, comes out a different color. So that's really nice. And then let's see what it looks like with. This dude music. Amazing. So that's the result. Cool intro plus DJ's music. It's amazing. So, um, yeah. I guess you know, just mess around in here and, uh, please request some tutorials. Just comment below. Like I said, first one, the first tutorial of any of mine in any program is always bad because I'm still learning the program and I don't take the time to learn it but today I'm gonna spend time learning it and then whenever I learn a new effect hopefully try and make a new tutorial so uh, follow me on Twitter for when those tutorials will be made uh, comment like subscribe uh, favorite if you wish so uh, yeah and then to save this just go to share export movie you could just export the audio it's kind of cool a lot of th things you can do you can send it to compressor if you have that program or upload it straight to YouTube. So, uh, yeah, you can just save the project and all that. Edit. A lot of nice things to edit. So, uh, a lot of cool things you can do. And, uh, these tools or whatever, I definitely recommend trying to memorize these. I, I've already got B and A down. So, A is select, B is bleed. 
But uh, yeah, the other ones, they're really handy. Instead of just going here, oh, now I need the blade tool, blade, now, okay, I need to select. You can just go A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. And uh, like I said, amazing effects. Like I could just add this camcorder effect on both things and it looks kind of good. So you see? Yeah, see how good that looks? Looks nice. Now, for some reason, it's lagging a bit. I think it's still rendering. I got a lot of things going on on my computer, so that's why it's uh, taking a while. I should probably close out of some of that stuff, whatever it is. Cinema. I don't need that. It's got to save. What? No, I'm not going to use this intro ever again. And now you see it's rendering a bit faster. So, uh, yeah. Really, I definitely recommend this program. It's amazing. It's really cool, this intro. It's nice. And uh, DJ Aggie's music is amazing. So definitely go check him out. And uh, apparently there's a uh, sensor effect you can do. So, uh... I don't know what this is. So, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe and stay tuned for when my uh, other tutorials will come out. Peace.